Well, this seems to be the right place. What's on the program, I wonder? And where are the others, for that matter? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls! Tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. A great conflict rages over precious Electrope, and the Kingdom of Alexandria has been embroiled in the chaos. When the royal capital comes under siege, the Kingdom's valiant knights lay their lives on the line for their beloved Princess Sphine. 
I bid you keep your handkerchiefs at hand. Now, without further ado... Pardon? <laughs> what a twist! Oh, unbelievable. Ha! E yeah. To the valor of the royal knights, the kingdom succeeds in repelling the invaders. But their jubilation proves short-lived. For in mad defiance, the enemy unleashes a forbidden weapon which brings about a terrible calamity. Full many lose their lives. The good Queen Sveen, shining vision of hope among them. To her. You're supposed to go to her! What's happening? Is it over already? <clears throat> and then... Though the people grieved their queen's tragic passing, uh, guided by her legacy of compassion. Oh boy. They, um, worked hand in hand to overcome an age of hardship, and in time, they built a peaceful and prosperous Alexandria. A new Alexandria. Pray forgive me. The memories. They had me in a vice grip. All's well that ends well. I wouldn't dwell on it. If I may ask, during your improvisation, you spoke of a new Alexandria. And so I'm given to wonder. Do you hail from a time after my own? We do. And we're living people, not endless. My word! That I should meet the living in this place. There 
there is another question I dread to speak aloud. A question I couldn't bring myself to pose to newcomers out of fear of the truth. Alexandria, does it still exist? It does. It isn't quite the place you knew, but it endures. The descendants of your people walk its streets and live each day to the fullest as proud Alexandrians. They live. We live. I... I had failed to protect my queen, but to hear that, it brings me a measure of peace. You were there too, Otis. That is, an incarnation of you. Of me? That's absurd. But wait, something comes back to me. When they were researching a means to resurrect Her Majesty, memory preservation or some such, I volunteered to be a test subject. Ah. No. It is a fog I cannot pierce. But pray, tell me, this incarnation of myself, what was he like? That's not all. He was a father in all but name to the new king, Kululja. Whatever you may have failed to do, you're the noblest of souls, Otis. And your deeds, your sacrifice, gave us hope that we sorely needed. <laughs> it is a miracle. Verily. There could be no other way to describe it. It is. It really is. We bear the legacy of your other self, and we'd be glad to bear yours as well. My, what comfort you offer. With such dependable souls to take up my shield, I may rest easy indeed. <clears throat> I beg you. Watch over, our new king. The war changed my queen. To her final moment, grief darkened her gentle countenance. I've not the honor of knowing Galulja, but I pray that for all his days, he shall have cause to smile. We'll see to it he does, Otis. I swear. That night, he was the one who looked after Gululja. And now you follow in his footsteps. Hmm. And those of others as well. We've come to know how much Sveen's people loved her. How much they yearned for peace. All of this we'll carry with us. I see. 